In this quick video I show how to make hail in Unreal Engine 5 which is when small chunks of ice fall. The hail has collision and for example when it hits this bus stop roof it will stop and slide off. When they hit any surface, it breaks up into smaller chunks of ice as the velocity should cause it to break. They will scale down instead of fading or instantly disappearing so it looks like melting. Here is light hail. You can see it looks nice here in this night environment and with light rain as well. Here it is in a day environment. You can use it however you want but it is a CPU particle so you need to be considerate about how it is used relative to performance. For this effect, I modify the rain particle I made in the previous video so you must have made that first. You can alternatively just download that project since it is free. I changed the showcase level up so it has no attached rain but just very light rain in the level. For the hail, I will use some free snow chunk models from this free asset by Epic Games. You can use any but this one has 7 so a good variance too. It is a quite big pack so may take some time to download. They are in this folder called snow chunks. I will duplicate them to a separate folder. For the material I want to use a custom one. I made an ice material off camera using this great tutorial. Link will be in the description. Here is the default ice material. You can give it emissive color if you want the ice to glow slightly but I didn't. Duplicate it and add a sphere mask as shown so we can use it for the broken hails as those will be sprites instead of meshes. I will reduce the poly count of them. Drag it into the level then go to modeling mode and mesh. Click simplify and change the target mode to triangles. Find the lowest possible value you can use without losing too much detail. Since the individual hail pieces are relatively small, it does not need to be highly detailed. I changed mine to be 30 triangles. Make sure to update all of them. We are doing this to optimize it for performance. Set the material of each of them to the ice one. Now duplicate the Rain Niagara. Modify the parameters as shown. Replace sprite renderer with a mesh renderer. Add all the meshes to the array. Set the facing mode to velocity. Then add a set new or existing parameters directly node in particle update. Click the drop down and select mesh index. Set it to a random range int. The maximum value should be however many meshes you added minus 1 since arrays start from 0. I had 7 so we'll set this to 6. This just randomizes each hail to one of the 7 meshes since it doesn't do it automatically. In initialize particle, change it to the mesh scale mode instead of sprite. You can change these values to your liking especially if you are using different meshes.
Then add an initial mesh orientation module. This will randomize the rotation of each hail particle. In particle update, add a scale mesh size and leave it as default. This will scale it down over its lifetime. You can set the start point to not be at zero but a bit offset so the hail only starts shrinking after falling for a bit. Adjust the collision module as shown. You can give it a max number of collision if you don't want it bouncing too much but this can cause some other issues such as freezing mid-air after hitting things in between so I would recommend leaving this off. Add gravity force module. Now for the breaking chunks. We already have the splash emitter from the rain. Change the material to sphere mask ice. Increase the lifetime and size. The size should be a lot larger since it should act as smaller chunks of the hail and not small water droplets. You can use mesh here too but it will definitely affect performance since there will be too many meshes being rendered at once. Add a scale sprite size module and change the curve to be inverted so it scales down instead of up. You can use the templates that are already there. In event handler properties, enable random spawn number and set the max to something between 2 and 4. Again the more you have here the more particles will be spawned. Also you might want to make the min 1 instead of 0 if you want there to always be at least one broken chunk. I will rename the emitters. That is all for the particle. I can add it to my level now. You can change the size if it is too small or big. Here is much bigger hail. You can play around with the collision settings until it looks right for you. The restitution amount should be really low however otherwise it will bounce too much. You can adjust the friction too if needed which will reduce the sliding when it hits something like a wall. For the sound effect I got mine from this website. I used hail on fiberglass roof. Import and set it to looping. You can add it directly to the world. You can see that the hail hits this bus stop route then goes through slowly. To fix this, move the gravity force module before collision. Then increase the radius scale. I will reset the friction too so it slides around more like ice. It slides based on the velocity now and also doesn't go through the bus stop. I made a volume actor for the hail like the rain one from the previous video off camera. I can use the volume instead now and it will have the audio and easy to change amount during runtime. By adding light rain it makes it more realistic since hail usually comes with rain and also it will add the wetness effect over time which I made in the previous video. Finally, in the particle, you can give the chunks a max number of collisions since otherwise they will keep bouncing. I will also increase the chunk size again. That is all for this video. If you enjoyed, like and subscribe for more content. You can download this project for free using the link in the description. Thanks for watching.